Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are running what might be the most hated RC of all time. The Traxxas Sledge. Hello everyone, welcome back. That's right, today we are running the Sledge. Something that people either love, but it seems like a lot of people really hate this car for some reason. I, I don't know why. I really don't. But I'm out here camping and that, spending a couple days in the outdoors. There's a really beautiful BMX park right there that they have on the state park here. And it says, no RC cars. Man, that's discrimination, man. That is discrimination. Oh, I got to be careful. I can't really run here. If you look, there's huge rocks everywhere. I think they did that to sabotage RC cars. <laughs> I don't know, but this is a... Uh, so this is a pump track for uh, people to ride their bikes. So basically, you just... You're supposed to be able... Oops. Hey, there she is. You're supposed to be able to keep your momentum going through here. Hence a pump track, so you pump the bike. Oh no. There we go. Use a little of that 6S power. See? See, that's one thing I don't get with this car. People talk about a lack of power or something. They can't drive it. It's horrible. This thing... Does that look like it doesn't have any power? No. This thing does not lack power in any way. Ooh. That was harsh. Ooh, look at that. I like this RC, man. I think it's fun. I just, I don't understand the, the hate people... Where it comes from. Saying that it doesn't have power, or it doesn't, I don't know, man. Yeah. I have to be careful. I don't want to rut this thing up with a bunch of RC tire tracks, and then they put a sign out here, no RC cars, so. And sorry, this is what, what I expected to run when I came out here, so. I seriously think half the comments about uh, this vehicle just come from people that don't own one. They just watch reviewers talk bad about it and then they get their opinion. Well, my favorite channel talk bad about this, so it's junk. Uh, it's unfortunate. Almost at it. Dude, look at how I just banged that thing up, man. Did anything broke? No, uh, probably not. Let's see, see the axles? Still straight. You know, in the over year I've had this vehicle, the only thing I've ever broke on it was uh, one of these pins back here. One of the hinge pins for the rear. Now, I, am, I do think, feel like the servo is starting to die, though. It is. <laughs> feel like it's seen better days. And I know that's a big complaint with some people. I think I need a... Oh, yeah, this front suspension is like way... I 
I'll tell you one mistake a lot of people make is there's two holes here for the shock. Traxxas puts it in this outside hole from the factory. And if, when you read the manual, it clearly states in there, and I'm guilty of it too, I didn't read it, that the inner hole, uh, or the outer hole, is designed for hard packed, flat running, that if you need extra ground clearance, and you're gonna run it on rough terrain, move it to the inner ones. So everybody, when these things first came out, they ran them, they bashed them, they did all stuff and they maybe complain about the suspension, but never even set it up properly. Because uh, look at how high mine sits. <laughs> I don't. Like I said, I just don't understand. This is such a cool RC car. Um, I really need to go take it somewhere and we can run this thing wide open. Look at all what these rocks here are doing to my chassis. Oh. Guys, look at this. This place is littered with these things. Um, so I brought the Typhon in that. I was going to run that here. Well, I thought I was going to be able to run on that BMX track, but nope. See, man, bam, I just hit. This is not a good place. This is not a good place to run these things. Yeah, I don't, you know, what is the issue with people dislike about this thing? this thing man yeah the steering starting to like maybe it's the steering servo or the servo saver because it's it's really worse going to the right see to the right it really <laughs> all right guys man the sledge, the sledge. I will be doing a shootout between this, the Kagama and the 6S Creighton. I have a little battle there with Razor RC. He said this thing wasn't rated last place and it wasn't worth nothing. I think he's completely wrong. Tell me that doesn't have no power. How, how do people come up with that deduction? I don't understand. That servo is just really... Whoa. See? Whoa. This thing's a freaking animal, man. Ooh, I don't know what that was, but it didn't sound good. Let's try not to tear up any of this. We'll just stick to the main road here. I mean, I just, like I said, I just don't get it. People, like, 
It's got no power. It can't perform. I mean, look at the jumps I was just doing. You telling me that's not fast? This is stock pinion, man. Number one, I do not have the speed pinion in here. I don't. No speed pinion. Okay. You just have to take my word for it for that. Uh, there's the Traxxas batteries. All right. Millennium Traxxas ESC 6S and there's the motor. I'm pretty sure when Traxxas was designed this, the last of their concerns was somebody throwing a bigger motor in here. You know, run it the way it is. I mean, I understand people want to customize. But to say out of the box that this thing is slow, it can't jump, it can't handle, it can't do this. I think a lot of people really miss out on what, what's a great RC. I'm gonna tell you what, an all-out ground contest like this, running in a, in a field, in an environment like this, the, the, the sleds are gonna hand down win. When it comes down to it. Ooh, guess I need to be careful there. Dude, ooh. Oh shit, I forgot about it. I need to be careful, respectful of the property here. Oh, let's turn the TQI up a little bit. Oh. No, that's still in the steering. No, it actually seems like it's steering better now. Now that I turned the TQI up, it's steering faster. Oh wow. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, that's right. There's that hole there. This is doing a little bit better job staying straight now. Oh, look at that. See, it was like totally in a slide and it straightened itself. Not as much fun. But the steering seems to be faster with that. Wow. I mean, guys, those are some freaking fat wheels right there that this thing's trying to turn. I will give it. This, the servo probably could be a little stronger. That The sledge, everybody. So dang, this is really just a bad place because it already seems like they got a bad taste for RCs. I don't want them on that track and then look, I'm leaving tire marks everywhere and somebody's gonna be like, oh, you can't be running these RCs through here. Look what you did. But man, this is the kind of driving I like, man. I like power sliding in the dirt doing this stuff. I like this kind of driving. <laughs> I like that out of controlness. See, not everything has to be bashing, hitting jumps. It's real quick. Sorry about the wind, but man, look at the track. Look at those jumps. Oh, so nice. That would have been nice. But got to respect the rules guys there you have it man the sledge freaking awesome rc man i don't i don't don't understand like i said i don't understand the hate for it it's a beast especially if you pay attention to set it up right <laughs> you know i watched plenty of review videos when this thing came out i never saw anybody once mention about moving the uh pin on the lower control arm or the shock over to give it more ground clearance they just go out there and bash it out of the box 
but <sighs> there you have it the most hated sledge <laughs> I like it man I think it's a great RC I love it uh, not perfect but it's far from bad man it's just this thing's taking a beat and done good for me all these years so all right hope you enjoyed watching this run i really wanted to run more cars out here but uh well man i'm already gonna have my hands full cleaning this thing so and this whole thing is full of rocks so look at this so we're gonna Oof. man she's a beast is a beast thoroughly happy with this well hope you enjoyed watching the uh sledge run i hope you don't have hate for the beautiful car here give it a chance if you don't like it but uh i like it man it's, it's been a good car for me <laughs> it's got a ton of power it's fast it, it jumps i mean it's not it doesn't have the ground clearance of like the x max or something else it's lower to the ground i mean it's more like uh, it does really well on the ground. It does great jumps too. It does. Um, maybe not super big air, uh, unless you really crank the shocks up and jack this thing way up. Then you could see so you. You get a ton of ground clearance. But yeah, it's what it is. I think it's a good car. Then unfortunately, uh, when you come new places, you find out things like you can't run where you wanted to, and the one place to run. There's so many big rocks and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, I know the Kagama can handle it. The 6S Creighton, I don't know. It's, it's it's lower than the Sledge, and the Typhon definitely not. It's it's really low to the ground. It really sucks, man. Pack up all this stuff and... Uh, but, hope you enjoyed the video, watching the Sledge run around here. So I personally think it's a good RC. I don't... I don't understand the hate for it. Oh, did this thing just get blurred? Oh, sorry, I got GoPro head. <laughs> uh, I don't understand the hate for it. I mean, in all honesty, you know, you see the, you see how fast it is. You see the power. You know, I mean, a slow servo. That's gonna. Please, every reviewer I watch out there, the first thing they do is throw the servo of any car away, anything, throw it away, replace it. So. I think it's a moot point and then they usually trash the electronics too oh i'm putting the this motor in this esc in which i guess that's the sore point for people is that they're really limited in the space and that but you know there's a lot of cars out there you're limited uh what kind of motor you can put in because of spacing and stuff like that the manufacturer designed it to run a certain way if you can modify it great if not then you know work with what you got if you want to i mean i'm happy with the way this is out of the box personally uh, I would like more settings on the ESC, honestly. I wish it was kind of more like the Spectrum, the Horizon Hobby stuff, where there was like a program, or even on, even with the app, more settings like up and change the boot, the punch up and down, and and that. So you can basically through the Bluetooth module change the braking, change the throttle sensitivity and steering sensitivity. So you you got a little wiggle room in there, but not as much as you do with like a programmer. But other than that, man, I like the sledge. I think it was a great car. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching it run. See the power and speed of that beauty. Hope you like it. If not, you know, it's not, you know, not every car is for everybody. You know, I know some people just hate tracks. It don't matter what it is. Some people hate Arma. You know, it is what it is. Uh, I try to give everything a fair shake. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching it run. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.